All right, so here's some here's an application for Venn diagrams. Um, this one ha is going to have two sets: the people that have cable television and people that have high-speed internet. I'll have another example. I'll put a link in a link in the description where where there will be three sets. So you can check that one out too. But I would watch this one because it'll help you with the other one. It'll help the other one make more sense. All right, so let's get started. So it says a market researcher collecting data on 100 households finds that 81 have cable television, 65 have high speed internet, and 56 have both. All right, so let's draw us a box here. And what we've got are two sets. So we'll call this one cable television and we'll call this one high speed internet. All right. So, let's get started. So, here the best way to start is with what they have in common. So, here it says 56 have both. Okay? So, that's what they have in common, so that's where they're going to overlap. So, well, where do they overlap? They overlap right here. So, this would be 56. Okay. And then it says that 81 have cable television. So, 81 have cable television. So, here we would have. 25. Now how did I get the 25? Well 81 minus 56 is equal to 25. Now keep in mind the 81 does not go here. It says 81 have cable television. So these 25 plus these 56 that's 81. It just so happens that the 56 people here that have cable television they also have high-speed internet now the the other reason that I knew that it was 81 minus 56 to get the ones that have cable television here now how would I know if it would be 81 versus the 25 which I put well if this would say 81 have cable television only then I would put 81 right here but it just says 81 have cable television so the 25 here plus the 56 here that equals the total of the ones that have cable television okay it's just of those 81 that have cable television 56 also have high-speed internet all right now let's look at this one so it says 65 have high speed internet. So that means this would be 9. So how did I get that? Well, 65 minus 56 equals 9 because it did, it did not say 65 have high speed internet only. Okay? It just said 65 have high high speed internet. So it's the 56 here that have the internet plus the nine here that have the internet totals the 65 that have internet. It's just of the 65 that have internet, 56 of them also have cable television. All right, now let's, let's look at this out here. The people out here, remember this is considered the universal set. That's everybody. That's all 100 households. So that would be this would be 10 out here because so how did I get that well I know the whole thing there's a hundred households and if I subtract the 56 that have cable only and I subtract I'm sorry if I subtract the 25 that have cable only and the 56 that have cable and internet and subtract the 9 that have internet only well that equals 10 so that means 
10 of those 100 have neither one. Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and answer our questions. Once you get the Venn diagram filled out, the questions that it asks you are easy. So here it says, how many households do not have cable television? Well, how many is that? Well, you see all the people in here have cable television. Which ones don't? Well, these nine and these ten. So that would be nine plus ten equals nineteen. Okay. All right. Then what does it say? How many households have neither cable television nor high-speed internet? Well, we figured that out right there. Ten have neither one, so that would just be ten. You see, when, when you once you fill the, the Venn diagram out, the questions are easy to answer. How many have high-speed internet but not cable television? Okay, well, you can see all of these have high-speed internet, but these 56 have cable television also. It's just these nine that have high-speed internet but not cable television, so that would be the nine there. Or another way that they might ask this question, how many have high-speed internet only? Okay, so I hope the video helped. Uh, I'll have another one that has the, the three, three sets. It'll be a little bit longer problem, but hopefully this helped. Check out my other video. I've got videos on shading Venn diagrams if you need to check those out. So thanks for watching. Give me a like, share, and subscribe.